the long-awaited thermal wall is arriving. So it should be 33 bundles of the thermal wall here. And each bundle has three pieces in it. Like a lot tag. See what he does at the end of the driveway. He's got a pretty tight turn. So I suspect that he's probably going to go right because there's a mailbox on the left, and then he'll back out down the road, which is the same thing that a lot of people have been doing. Yeah. Not only for us, but also for us. Day one of thermal wall installation. So as you can see, come in these big sheets, and there's a center section that uh, can be removed, and there's a metal strip in the inside. And then once the uh, wall is attached to the, to the outside of the house, then that center section is replaced again. Here you can see Joe doing that.
Okay, a little update uh, about the progress this morning since I was out here last time. Uh, as you can see, we've got two courses of the thermal wall around the corner. Two courses around the back. Filling in spaces. Tag it into the window frame, the window box. Okay, I've got uh, to go for lunch, and uh, I've got another meeting at 1, so hopefully I'll be able to get out here before my next meeting at 3, so I'll then give you an update. Oh, in case you're wondering about the mask, <coughs> Trisha, Rachel, and I have come down with COVID. Um, I think that uh, Rachel contracted it at uh, camp, Camp Shalom. She was there last year, uh, last week, volunteering, and came home with a treat. So far, uh, it's been a little rough in the sense of uh, fever and chills and cough, um, a lot of uh, congestion, um, headaches, uh, etc. But uh, relatively mild, I think. Uh, so far, um, both Patricia and I are, are quadruply uh, vaccinated, so we've got four shots in, and Rachel's got three. And uh, we'll see what uh, uh, comes of the announcement that came up earlier today. Anyways, talk to you soon. So this is mid-afternoon uh, update. It's just after 2 o'clock on Wednesday. And uh, just wanted to show you what the windows look like when... They are reinstalled after the thermal wall has been installed. You can see that there will be very, very deep window sills. And the windows themselves are uh, facing on the outside, so they'll be placed on the outside of the thermal wall. So here you can see the thermal wall um, as it's been pushed in there. And then you can see that there's a lot of foam that's been uh, sprayed around it to seal it. And I think that's what Jay's up to right now for the other window. Looks awesome, Tom. Beautiful, Tom. Let's look at it from the outside to see how far they've got. Here you can see all of the sheets of thermal wall. You can see that they come in bundles of three. I saw these yesterday in the other video. Oh, we've gone to the third, third level.
around to my office. So this is the one thing that I was looking for. So there's a hole through the wall into my office. And that's where the conduit will go for uh, internet connection. Three levels high, around about half the house or so. See what the back looks like. Okay, so I oh, they put some strapping on Twitter. I said, I want to around the windows. Give something to connect to. I assume that's also to connect the metal siding to it as well. So there's the wind window that I was showing you on the inside, on the right hand side. And there's the window in my office that's being installed right now. So they don't have the third level up here yet. Just two. Third level should be really, really quick. You don't have to cut anything except for one end. Pardon? Uh. Yeah. They said it would be. Anyhow, that's uh, enough for an update. Uh, I'll come back in uh, after my final meeting today. Uh, I've got another meeting at three, another grad student. Um, then I'll come back and wrap up the day. Probably as far as they'll be able to get, because they usually only work until four. Okay, it's the end of the day on July the 12th, Wednesday, and we're just checking on how far they've got. So, um, I think we already saw that they had finished here already. <coughs> Get around Johnny on the spot. And here you can see that they're basically done, except that they've got a channel that has to go in there. So, a styrofoam channel, one of those over there and they have to cut off the metal brackets for that one and those two probably ran out of power on their their sawzall or something and on the back here oh they've also started putting the strapping on for the metal siding that'll come later and the two windows are in place now i can show you what uh, that looks like from the inside of the uh, the office, and they have uh, put on an extra round or course of the thermal wall. What's interesting here is that they haven't finished where the thermal wall is going to intersect. Well, they'll probably do that right at the end. Intersect with the thermal wall that's going between the garage and the house itself so that space they left some some room there oh see they've already got it drawn out so it goes 12 inches by 20 inches and 21 inches across to give them the the l shape uh to get around the top and uh, that's kind of neat and they probably don't want to take the the um, 2x4 and the, the boards from in front of the sliding door out too soon till they get up there. So I expect tomorrow what they'll do is probably finish off this section 
Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Jay was talking about finishing off the lower section all the way around. So I guess tomorrow uh, that would mean that they would continue working around here. So they have to clean off the ledge that they're using. Clean off all of that space and make it ready for putting on the additional uh, thermal wall so that they can go up three courses high here. Here you see the, out, uh, the output and the input of the um, heat recovery ventilation unit or the ERV, energy recovery ventilation unit. Um, so they've got one window there that they'll have to cut around have to take that strapping off. The window in front of the studio will need to come out. And the window in the front foyer. And in addition, they will need to put the front door uh, in place. So the actual door. Um, do we have the actual door in the building at this point? Don't think so. So there are the windows um, that go into the bathroom. So two of them in the bathroom and the third one goes above the pantry. Um, we haven't seen that door. We haven't seen that window. We haven't seen the two um, doors for the garage. That door is the one that's at currently in the front door. So that'll be moved over um, when we're ready for it. So things are progressing. Um, this was a long time in coming. We had a thermal wall uh, that we thought was being ordered um, back in January, and that didn't happen. Um, not exactly sure what the, what the, uh, the holdup was. We've got some theories. Um, so it's good to see that it's actually here and being installed. I'm overjoyed with some trepidation as to whether we can get everything finished before the 27th of July. Because that's the final, final date. All right, so update uh, you as soon as possible. Um, goodbye for now.